Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Janelle and today's video is going to be a three and one. I got an empties video for you guys um, and two different project pen updates just because I've been a little bit behind on um, filming. I have um, been working a lot. Kids are back in school. Kids got sick. I got sick. I didn't wear makeup for a little bit, maybe like two, three weeks. Um, so I'm back and I'm going to show you all the good things so if you do like these types of videos don't forget to like and subscribe helps my small channel out a lot and i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart without further ado let's go ahead and jump right in so let's start with the empties video um i have this foundation right here this is the l'oreal infallible fresh wear foundation and this sucker is done it expires december of this year so i'm glad that we got it out um, there may be some stuck at the very bottom that I'm not able to get. So yeah, um, my daughter helped me finish this one up and yeah, we both used it. I think it was okay. I personally wouldn't purchase it for myself. I know she really liked it. So if I do purchase it, it'll be for her consumption and not mine. Um, but if you're looking for a decent foundation at the drugstore, it's around like 13 to $16 wherever you shop at. Um, but there's other more affordable foundations I like a little bit more. So I don't think I would be repurchasing that for myself. Oh, and by the way, you guys, um, it is Labor Day weekend when I'm filming this. So happy um, Labor Day. And if I post this too late, then I'm sorry. I didn't get to wear these cute earrings for 4th of July. So I'm wearing them now. But I couldn't get the earring in, in this ear. So disregard that I don't have an earring in that ear. But yeah, I kind of wanted to wear red, little lipstick. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. It's like a Rabani sample that I got from Ulta. So let me know if you like this lipstick on me. I use a Dior lip liner. And I was thinking of topping it off with this. Do you guys think I would ruin the look if I put this red lip gloss by Buxom? And it's in the shade Natalie. Oh no, let's try it out. I don't know if I like it more or less with the lip gloss on, but I'm going to leave this on for the remainder of the video. But I have another foundation that I used up, and this is the L'Oreal True Match. Um, it's their blendable foundation. It's in W2.5 Warm Light Medium. And this one, I liked okay. It just kind of like rubbed off on my nose. When I used to be really oily, um, I would get compliments when I would wear this. People would say, oh my god. Um like what's on your face and i would say oh it's just my oil speaking through this foundation but yeah it was every time i was wearing this foundation people would say like oh my gosh it looks so glowy and this one i couldn't get the top off of it but as you guys can see i did try to get a lot off of this one so there's that one and next up let's talk about our makeup revolution powder i think this is a spoiler for my 30 and 30 project pan update which i think i'll be filming in a few days so if you watch that project pan this is going to be a spoiler um well actually no it's gonna be it's gonna be about three weeks until i film that video because we are on the last day of august i think when i'm filming this so yeah 21st is when i will um hopefully upload the finale but anyways this is the makeup revolution powder um it's like a two-in-one so i originally finished up that what you guys seen and then now this bad boy is empty so yeah i got another powder empty under my belt um it's very light in color texture so so sometimes i really like it sometimes i don't i would just stick with my givenchy but if i'm in a pinch like this will do so yeah I don't know, may or may not repurchase. Next up we have our, um, this is our Pink Gasm Glow Wand. You can hear that it's empty. I finished this a while ago. I just haven't filmed an empty video to show you guys um, that I finished this. So yeah, it's a really pretty, let me see if I can get a little color out. It's kind of dry. A really pretty pink color. Um, I think if I get this like in a set or something, I would use it. But I have so much cream blush that I really do not need to buy another cream blush so there's that and um let's see i did finish off my hydra beauty micro cream by chanel it's just a little sample it's good wish i had more of it and continuing with that same skincare 
um, deal. <laughs> I have the Vitamin and Rich Face Spice by Bobbi Brown. This is like a primary moisturizer all in one. I did finish this off. Some days I just used it as a moisturizer. Some days it doubled up as a primer. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this stuff. And it did last me, I want to say three or four months. I have to go back and look when I got this. I got this in a set. Um, so yeah, this is a really nice product and I would repurchase that. Speaking of moisturizers, my, one of my favorite moisturizers is the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this is the Magic Cream. And this was the half ounce. And I believe this is like 50-ish bucks maybe. Um, so yeah, that is fully panned. And I really enjoy this. It's like kind of like my ritual to use this at nighttime. Well, in the daytime too, but like... I really love coming out of the shower and just like bathing it under my eye and all over my skin and neck. Just, it's so nice. So yeah, I would repurchase this again. Here's another thing. I got this one in a Sephora favorites kit. This is the All Nighter Vitamin C Cactus Flower Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I don't know if this prolonged my makeup. I felt like maybe it added do. And there's a little bit left, but like the spritz. Oh, okay, now it's spraying good. Before it was not spraying so good, so maybe I might use this for another day or two. It's... Okay, and I felt like big squirts, so I don't think that sprayed evenly. Okay, so I felt like I was able to kind of ready my makeup. I just used my beauty blender to kind of blend everything in. So yeah, um, I'll just use this for another week and see if I can totally finish it up so it may be in my other empty video next time that i film one um i did finish this perfume a while ago and it smells beautiful this is the i think it's called born in roma intense by valentino and i get a lot of compliments when i'm wearing this it's like a very feminine sweet nice scent um i guess some people would say it's kind of nighttime -y, but i would wear it in the daytime and get compliments it's very sexy like se sensual so yeah, I like it. How do you guys feel about the word demure? Let me know your comments down below what you guys think of the word demure. I'm just curious. Next up, I did finish off this Clarins little lip balmy thing. Um, I've been wearing this every day for work and I was really sick. So there may just be like a tiny bitty bit, but I don't want to get sick again. And it's just ugh, to die for. So glossy and good, leaves a nice stain. This is in the shape Pattaya. 04 which is my favorite um out of the ones i've tried and it's the one that sparked my love for the clarence of oil so yeah totally recommend totally would buy again next up we have a mascara i always finish up a tower 28 mascara in my empties video as you guys can see it's pretty dry so yeah um i have a new one open and that one is kind of almost drying out so i think like in another month i might be due for another mascara but it's my daily mascara that i wear every day to work i really like the wand and the way it just like combs through the lashes it just gives them a very like separated black nice look um this was in the shade drift um which is the color that i've been getting for, like the past four times which is the brown shade um i just like it better than the black just because um sometimes when it is very hot and humid here in texas i'll smudge a little bit on my lower lash line even though i don't apply mascara there on the daily um but yeah it'll kind of just transfer to the bottom and i don't want to have like black under bags the brown's like a little bit less noticeable but um the brown on my upper lashes still looks very dark and nice so i really appreciate um that so this is a good mascara and it's a forever repurchase next up we have lips i did finish up this dior lip gloss i don't know if i've shown this in an empties video this is in 553 princess and it's just this beautiful pink iridescent shade i really miss the um dior stellar lip glosses which is this one it's not plumpy not weird they were just beautiful glosses i wish that dior would bring them back and a new reformulated formula or old i don't care it was just this beautiful like magenta e pink which i really loved and enjoyed but I'm gonna miss it because they don't make it anymore but i have lots of other lip glosses to love on so that's what i plan on doing is just loving all my other lip glosses and hopefully we'll get to pan some more lip glosses in the months to come last up we have two concealers i did finish up the hourglass i think this one's the ambient vanish concealer or something like that this is in the shade birch 
and it was a very very light shade but i did that on purpose just because um i wanted to use this with some of my darker foundations and it's just so beautiful full coverage um i didn't take the stopper out of this one i just don't really do that very often you can tell that i used up a lot of it but yeah my daughter also loved this one she would steal it from me a lot but i really love my short tape my tart shape tape um that one's more affordable i think than this one i could be wrong i don't know um but yeah i maybe would have repurchased with like ulta points or something but i can see myself purchasing other foundation other concealers more than this one but it's still very very good 10 out of 10 concealer and then this one is also very nice this is the givenchy prisme libre skin carrying uh, concealer and i have mine in the shade n25 it is multi-purpose co corrector i never seen that on the bottom but as you guys can tell i finished up a lot of this guy and i'll swatch this one for you too it's really dry and i can't get anything out but it's usually a nice creamy concealer feels like you're putting skincare under the eye i have to apply a lot more of it but i don't mind because it's big and it took me like pretty much a year um maybe like six months non-stop use but i use other concealers in between sometimes so yeah like about a year if you are a makeup lover and have a lot of makeup it will last you about a year but if you're only using this i would say maybe three to six months depending on how heavy-handed you are six months even if you are heavy-handed like me just because i like coverage so i would apply a lot of this um just because it's more medium coverage but very light and beautiful under the eyes it feels like you're just applying water so i love it and I would repurchase this one. Um, I am gonna go through some concealers that I already own before repurchasing, but these two are awesome. I love them. Um, if you are dry skin, recommend this one. Oily this one. And if if you're vice versa, don't let it deter you. Um, you know, if you're oily skin, this one would still last. Just set it with a lot of powder. And if you're dry skin, I would say just. Um, just a little bit of this will go a very long way and just use a very damp beauty sponge to um, blend it out and I, lo I know a lot of people don't even set this concealer by hourglass they just you know put it on and go about their day i, I can never do that <laughs> i love applying powder underneath my eyes so both of these worked for me and i have dry skin at the moment okay this is gonna be a long video so let's go ahead and jump into our partners and cream project pan if I have a picture where we were at last update, I will insert it now. So this is our Charlotte Tilbury um, bronzer and this is where we were last update. And this is where we are now. I didn't get a lot of use on this. Like I said, I was sick. So not the most amount of usage. It is what I'm wearing today. Pack what, um, I have MAC Give Me Sun topped over the top, but yeah this is the bronzer that i'm wearing underneath my powder bronzer and yeah i think it's working for me now i'm maybe starting to lose my summer tan so i hope to have this done by the end of the year fingers crossed let's hope um that this one's done next thing to update you guys on is this concealer and i'm about to right here where you can see a little windowing it's what's under my eyes today top with givenchy prisma libre powder um let me know if it looks good or not but yeah not my favorite concealer it's very light so i do like to highlight with it it's that one right there and it is in the shade 3c1 i think i don't know oh 10w it's called we're even that's the name of this and then it's called 10w is the shade so yeah, mm. it's kind of lightweight, liquidy, but I just feel like it's not creamy and full coverage enough. It does give coverage though. Today I only put a dot here in the inner corner and blended it out, but I don't know. Sometimes I like to look super 2016 full glam. I mean, this can get you there, but I just have other concealers that I love more. And it kind of smells like paint, I think. So if you want something like this, just go with Wet n Wild probably a fraction of the price but i know a lot of people love this so i'm not going to knock it because it gets the job done seven out of ten but not my absolute favorite oh i'm why am i reviewing this did i show you guys a picture picture before and after sorry i'll try to remember to mark this with a nail polish but i'll probably forget 
next up i want to show you guys my natasha denona rose cheek duo um if i haven't already showed you guys so here's a picture of where we were last update and here we are now there's a big dippy dip there and um i will continue to keep using this i was using this non-stop when it was in my makeup bag but lately i've dumped all all stuff that was in my makeup bag and i just leave it in my drawer at home now so um i've been reaching for my makeup by mario blush pop or whatever they're called plumping blushes i've been using the very light pink one that i got in a so far favorites kit so that's like been my ride or die blush when i wasn't sick when i yeah before i was sick and then now that i've gotten better i've been using it a lot too i had to force myself to use this one by um m cosmetics it's a cream blush but um yeah i think i'm gonna roll this out just because we got a nice dippy dip and then maybe see if we can pan this in 2025 because it is like a little cream blush that i think we can get out of the way but um i'll show you guys what i'm gonna replace this with so i do want to replace it with this glossier cloud paint and this is in the shade dusk which is like a nice brownie peach and i've had this forever so i feel like i should use it up before it goes bad and there's only a little bit left in the container so i do think it is a very attainable goal um so yeah i think we're gonna do neutral blush for a very long time and see how far we can get with this bad boy so i kind of did like a similar look with blush that i would have got with this so going forward i'm going to use like bronzy powder blushes to top over this and see what i think of everything i do want to mention an empty this is the westman atelier a um, lit up stick in the shade lit and if i roll it all up this is plastic but yeah there's just like some that i can dig out but i'm not going to do that and like when i swatch it like it's not really swatching because of the plastic so i can dig it out if i want to but i don't know if i will um i did try to apply a little bit today and i did top off my um cream highlighter with a um, rms powder highlighter so that's what i'm wearing on my face today and yeah I do want to replace it with another cream highlighter. That highlighter is going to be this one by Good Six. It's called Bubbly Baby. And I will take pictures of everything so we can keep track of the progress. But here we are. This is how much we have left. And let me give you a little swatch. I believe this one is more golden tones. I don't know how far into the fall and winter I'm going to be able to wear this. But it is kind of peachy. So there's the highlight there and i've been liking a more lighter icier highlighter so we'll see how much use i get out of this app if any at all but we're gonna give it a go last product from our partners in cream project pan is this essence cajol um, eyeliner and i don't think i've sharpened it i don't think there's any use so if i have a picture i will show you guys and here we are now I'll give you a little swatchy swatch. I just haven't been feeling black eyeliner. But fall is coming. I feel like the smoky looks are coming. I kind of did like a brownie, I don't know, smoky eye today. So I could have used this, but it transfers a little bit. I just didn't want to deal with that. So the makeup look is this <laughs> today, but maybe I'll do some smoky looks or some black smoky eyes. Scribble this all over my eyeballs we'll see and i plan on maybe using this as a lip liner for like a spookier look what do you guys think are you guys happy that spooky season is here i got my fall candles lit i have like very autumnal um like floral arrangements around the house i'm so excited for fall um even though fall is the day after my birthday but you know i just like to celebrate early <laughs> okay you guys so next we'll be hopping into our um partners not partners in cream i'm sorry into our deca panning project pan so here is the bronzer that i was using for the month and here we are now um this is the rms high not highlighter bronzer and beach walk betty i've used it i think enough um i like how lightweight and thin it is it is very creamy, but it dries down like a powder. 
and it is very like pink tone i don't know if you're able to tell there based off that swatch but yeah um i've been enjoying this but i really want to use my mac warm sun up before you know it goes back because i've had it oh i want to say since all was like maybe two one or two and she is now eight so it's already like halfway panned anyways so i feel like we can do that even if it takes us like six months to a year i feel like it'll be done um that's besides the point this one can go back did i smell something yummy okay i think it's my hand lotion but anyways um yeah i got a lot of great use on this one before i got sick and a little bit after i got sick but yeah i think i'm ready to put this one back but i can see myself using this one a lot in the winter time maybe if max sun is a little too dark for me i do have max sun on today let me know if you guys are like this powder bronzer on me or do i look like a blah blah please let me know and um, yeah i really want to pull this out again it's beautiful i got a lot of love on it next up we do have this lancome foundation and as you guys can tell this is where we were when i think i entered it and this is the last update and here we are right now as you guys can see, I've been using this non stop daily. I like to mix it in with my Charlotte Tilbury foundation. Today, I only put this on. Um, so this is the coverage that's giving along with the Fenty considered for, you know, a little spot concealment. But yeah, this one's nice and I like it. Today, for Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, they currently have um, the other version like available. I kind of want to get it. Don't know if I want to spend 30 bucks, but I'm thinking about it so yeah um and i'm filming this on saturday the 31st but anyways let me know what you guys think of this um um this product's progress if you think this is a good amount of progress i think slow and steady wins the race technically this is um okay the spf expires in september i'm going to take it as the end of september or the beginning of september so i think my goal will be to try to finish this by the end of september um if i only use this and not the charlotte Tilbury, i think it can be done um yeah i think i put like four squirts which one squirt's not a lot like let me just waste them and show you guys so that's one squirt and i use a brush and then blend it out with a beauty blender so yeah i think this can definitely be done and i got this in the spring ultra 21 days of beauty so it's not old at all it's just the spf is expiring and I want to get my money's worth, so let's keep using it. Here is another product that we are rolling out. This is the Tower 28 in Pistachio. I was like loving this when I first um, bought this, but I don't know where we were in the beginning, but that's all I got. <laughs> um, yeah, I just switch up my lips way too often to kind of like pan stuff, but I'll give you a nice swatch of this one. It's a beautiful pink color. Um, Still smells great. Tower 28 ones kind of expire. Well, actually, it looks like there's more progress now. So I'll let this settle again and see if there's more progress. But um, yeah, I'm gonna roll this one out just so I can love on other things. We have two makeup items left. This is the Drunk Elephant Goldie Drops. I haven't used this enough and there's no way of tracking progress, but just wanted to be honest with you guys. Let me see if I can square a little bit out. So there it is there at the bottom um yeah i just been reaching for my west Montelier one just because i was prioritizing that one so i think i might build this one out too and last product to talk about is my dior lip glow and um i'll show you where i was last update if i took a picture i don't even know if i took pictures and let me roll this up okay so here we are i only have a little bitty bit bit left but i said i did get sick so i didn't want to use this while i was sick so i stopped um and yeah i think it's good now i'll give you a little swatchy it's just a beautiful pink color that kind of like um turns a certain pink color with your ph balance from your lips so i think if i take this to work with me and use this as my everyday lip this one can definitely be done very, very soon, but I believe now all we have left to do is pick three cards. So um, let me do that. Then I'll take a look at the game board, pick my items, and I'll be right back. I got my cards right here and just giving them a quick little mix. 
And let's go ahead and choose three cards. First one's going to be oh, a Joker card. Why? Why me? Why? I'm not excited about that, but I will definitely pick an item that I don't want to pan. And we'll just see how it goes. Next card here is going to be, this one is a 10 of diamonds. I have to look at the game board on that one. And last card is going to be a nine of club spades. You guys let me know what this is called. I always forget, but let me go look at the game board and I'll be back with those items. Okay, I am back with my items. So for the Joker, I picked a lip gloss that I do not like. But I know these lip glosses are coming up on sale for, for Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. So I kind of want to see a little bit more how I feel about the formula and pick up a color that I do like because this color is atrocious on me. So I think if I can just pan it around the house, that'll be great because I need to move some of these lip glosses out. And I'm speaking about the Buxom. This is their um, Collagen Infused Lip Serum. And Buxom just stings. I mean, I like a plumping lip gloss, but more like a Dior lip gloss. Um, I put a Buxom one on earlier in this video, and it's not tingling anymore, but just, I can tolerate a Buxom. I just hate like a Too Faced type of sting. But yeah, this is the plump shot, and this is in the color Get Naked, which is supposed to be like a cafe color, I think they described it. And... Right now it doesn't look too brown on my lip, on my hand, but it usually looks a lot more brown on the lips and I just can't get down with the color, so I love the smell of it. It's like a pepperminty smell, but I just do not like this. I don't reach for it. Um, it came in a set with a whole bunch of minis of the regular Buxom lip glosses, so I, I just feel like this was a little bit of a waste of my money. And now it's going to be a little bit of a waste of my time because I'm going to have to focus on using this rather than my other ones. So it's going to be a pain in the butt to pan, but I do think we can use this. I'm going to let it sit upright and see if there's any demarcation. And I'll mark it for you guys, otherwise I'll just take a picture. And yeah, I feel like this is going to take a few months to get done just because I'm not going to enjoy panning it. But I need to get it out, so what better way than through a project pan? <laughs> Ten of Diamonds is going to be a non-makeup product, so I picked the um, Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. It's a broad spectrum SPF 36, and this is a bro the bronzer. This is the SPF that I'm wearing today. I decided to open up this free sample that I got from Sephora like a while ago, um, just because I'm just staying in the house all day today. I'm not going anywhere or doing anything, so you know, just whatever UV rays coming through my um, windows at home. I thought this would be suffice. So yeah, um, I think maybe if I slather myself on this for about a week, it'll be done. So yeah, non-makeup item, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Number nine of clubs is going to be an impulse product. And I definitely bought this more on an impulse. I could have went to Sephora and smelt it first. It's just I've seen so many good reviews about this and the other scents by Sol de Janeiro. And I regret buying it and it is past its return date. And I'm speaking about this bad boy right here. This is the Sol de Janeiro uh, Cheriosa 40 perfume. I'm sorry, it has stuff all over it. Um, I mean, I've used up a big chunk of it. I would definitely track more and see where we go with this guy. But I'm wearing it today. Um, it's just, it doesn't last. It's not my favorite scent. I much prefer just the yellow one. Um, original Bum Bum Cream scent is the best. So yeah, this one I'm going to, I guess just pan to the end of this project and see where we get, cause I don't think I'll be able to use it. This has got in maybe like a month's worth. So as you can tell, this um, big boy, I forgot how many ounces it is. It's gonna take a long time. So I'm not gonna stress about it. But it'll be fun just to use it in this project pan. Um, that's everything I got for you for this long video. I think I have a haul and some other videos coming up soon for you guys. So um, don't forget to, you know, stick around for that kind of stuff. But until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful best day. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.